Hello again, Mental Fox here with another episode of my playthrough of Skyrim. Thank you so much for joining me again. It has been over a week since I last played. If you uh, follow my uh, The Last of Us 2 uh, playthrough, you know what I've been up to. So uh, why not check out the last episode of that? Let's see what I've been up to. What I've been doing for the past week. I've been running away from hurricanes. That's what I've been doing. We are here in this keep and um, we're still traveling with Janassa. If we look at our quests, we'll see that there are a few things uh, for us to do. We need to clear some Draugr for some very strange quest where we met somebody who thinks that we're a cannibal. Uh, and then uh, we still have this pieces of the past thing here. These are not necessarily related to Markarth where we are now, but we do have some miscellaneous stuff. Um, we need to bring a Daedra's heart to Moth. Uh, I guess I don't have a Daedra's heart. Hm, I thought I did. Maybe I've, maybe I've stored it somewhere. Uh, I'm not sure. If we look at the map here, that's not going to tell me anything. Hm, interesting. Look at the map. Get out of here. And, um, don't really see the game pointing me in any direction. Uh, probably because it doesn't know where a, uh, Daedra's heart is either. So we can turn that off. Uh, oh yeah, we find evidence evidence of Ogman's Talos worship. This is something that uh, was asked of us from uh, Andalamar. He's, um, I guess you could say he's maybe the Thalmor ambassador guy here, perhaps? Maybe? Uh, the last scabbard of Akrash. I think this is something that uh, we need to find. And it is down here. We are currently... Um, where the heck are we right now? No, no, no. That's not what I wanted to do. Alright. We are up here. Okay, this scabbard thing is, uh, I don't know where it is. It's down here. Okay, so it's not that far away. So, for some reason, I, th I thought that I had uh, some quests that we could do here in Markarth, but uh, it doesn't look that way, aside from finding evidence of Ogman's Talos worship. Um, I have really no intention of turning Ogman into the Thalmor, but, um, I don't know, let's go see if he does worship Talos, because we're a curious type. Uh, we kind of like to keep our finger on the pulse of what's going on in the city. So uh, let's just find out for our own curiosity, our own amusement. Uh, it's a quest. We'll do part of it. Oh, what a beautiful day in Markarth, huh? My goodness. I did not expect it to look like this out here. This looks great. This is probably the sunniest it's been. My whole time in uh, Markarth. It's been pretty gray uh, my whole time visiting here, and it's really kind of <laughs> colored my opinion of the place. So here's uh, Ogman's house right here. And um, silver, like my father. And his father in order to get in, we need to uh, pick the lock, which uh, is obviously something I don't want to do with some dude standing right here, so... Why don't you guys just go ahead and walk on by here. And uh, maybe I'll try to get in here. Because apparently that's the kind of thing I do now. I break into people's houses. Now I'm assuming Ogbend isn't going to be here. If he is, he'll most probably just kindly ask us to leave. And we'll do exactly that. I don't see him. Kind of a neat place. What the hell? Oh, okay, gauntlets. Those actually look like hands. What do you think, uh, Janassa? It's kind of a cool place. Look at this. He's got a little... practice dummy here. He's got a bed over here. Ah, Ogman plays the loot. Or maybe he just uh, collects them or strings them. I don't know. He probably plays it, though. So he's got a one-room studio apartment here. Steal from chest. Um, Ogman, Ogman's Amulet of Talos. 
Well, I guess that right there is proof that he worships Talos, huh? Well, there it is. Um, like I said, I really have no intention of turning him in. If he wants to worship Talos, that's fine with me. That's totally fine with me. I don't care what he does with his free time. So we're just going to leave it be. Uh, I just, uh, I guess I just wanted an excuse to break into somebody's house. Still a pretty scummy thing to do, but not as scummy as turning him in. So we're just going to, we're just going to leave that quest unfulfilled. Which uh, kind of hurts me in a way, but um, that's just how it goes. So, like I said, it's been over a week since I last played, so I don't really remember every little thing I was doing uh, at the end of the last episode. But uh, I'm itching, I'm kind of itching to go out and do some exploring, to tell you the truth. And uh, maybe we'll do that thing that I just highlighted a moment ago. That wasn't that far away, this last scabbard of Akrash. Now this, I don't remember. So Gorza is a smith here in Markarth, and she complains that her assistant Tacitus never gets smithing and that he should read a book about it. That's what this last scabbard of Akrash is. It's a book. So, um... Let's see if we can get the heck out of this place and uh, go look for that book. I mean, like I said, it's it's down here. It's it's not super close, but it's not too terribly far away either. And um, I wouldn't mind going for a walk. So let's see if I can figure out how to get out of here. It's pointing me in this direction, which doesn't feel right. Oh gosh, these bodies are still here. Uh, so I guess there's a back way out of... Why is this thing pointing me north? This doesn't seem right. No, that's south. Why does this feel like I'm going north? Because I am going north. Okay. Hey, whatever game. You do whatever makes you feel good. I don't think I've ever gone in or out this door before. I don't think so. Okay, well... We're uh, aiming right for it. Let's go for a walk, man. Let's go for a walk. We've got Janassa with us. We don't have anything to be afraid of. I guess... What's this place over here? Stables? Need a trained war dog? Fiercest companion money can buy. No, I do not want that dog traveling with me. I do not. You need a reliable horse in the reach. That's what we have. Nah, I'm good. I got my own two feet. More than... More than content to walk. That's what we're going to do. We're going to take a little walk. Some of this area we've explored before, some of it we haven't. But uh, it's always a little exciting to go out and do some exploring in uh, the world of Skyrim. And uh, that's probably what I look forward to most is just, uh, just simply just walking around, man. Just seeing what there is to see. It's a little foggy out here today, though. Quite the contrast to how bright and clear it was in Markarth. For a dragon to attack kind's Why? Is no place safe? No safe. Janassa. So I'm thinking of uh, um, trading out companions here pretty soon. I love Janassa. She's awesome. But there are so many companions, followers, whatever I use that word interchangeably. Um, there's so many of them in this game that uh, I kind of want to try them all out, or as many of them as I can. And, um, Janessa's still alive, <laughs> so why push her luck? <laughs> Looks like there's a cave or a mine or something up here nearby. We could, uh, kind of swing by it real quick. Expose it on the map. Might as well, since we're here. Well, there's... Whoa. Whoa, hello, how are you? Ouch, stop it. Well, let's uh, shoot this guy with some fire. Let's see how this frost dragon likes our firebolts. Um, what if I switched to fireball? What if I did that? Oh, nope, nope, nope. Die, dragon! Oh, do I hear more than one? Maybe. 
It sounded like I heard another one. So that's kind of fun, shooting fireballs. Uses a lot more of my magicka. So now I'm out of it. So let's go ahead and uh, take some potions. I've got a lot of them. Extreme Magicka. Good blammy. Janessa is determined to get in my way. But she's not even scratched. That was cool, man. That fireball did the trick. I'm Mr. Frost Dragon here. Well, you know, Dragon started it. I, I, I take no pleasure in killing such a magnificent beast. Except for this part. That's pretty cool. Absorbing dragon souls. Uh, let's just go ahead and take all this stuff here. And, um, yeah, we killed a dragon. That's what we do. Um, remember a while back I changed the uh, difficulty to, um, expert. And I found that dragon still pretty easy to, to kill. Haven't really found the dragons to be too, too challenging. You'd think they'd be more challenging than being dragons and all. But, uh, not gonna complain about it. I'm okay with it. Maybe I'm just really badass. Maybe that's it. Oh, Little goat. I'm gonna take your goat horns. I'm gonna take your goat hide, too. Oh, well, this is a neat place. Look at this. Reach Water Rock. Hmm. Reach Water Rock. Doesn't that sound familiar? I think I'm supposed to come here. Why does it sound familiar to me? Let me look in my notes here. If I can. Uh, let's see. Reach Water. Nope. Reach Water is not in my notes. Okay. Never mind then. Janessa, we just we're just kinda sticking our nose in here. We're not actually gonna go in. I hope you didn't get too excited about that. Uh there's like little teepee icons down here. I think these are like encampments, maybe? Over in that direction. If we can get over there easily, I may Try to expose those on the map as well. Uh, you want to go for a swim, Janessa? Actually, there's a bridge down there. Let's go to the bridge. We don't need to get all wet. Hmm. What happened here? Makes me a little nervous. Not a lot nervous, but a little bit. Bandits may be nearby. Nervous for them. I'm going to switch back to Firebolt. Fireball might be a bit much. But I think the Fireball worked pretty well against that dragon. It's an interesting little bridge. It's a little... Uh, Island here in the middle of the stream. Islands in the stream. That is what we are. Let's see what we got here. All kinds of icons. All kinds of them. Hmm. Is someone there? Okay, bad guys. Hmm. I was sure I heard something. <laughs> I love that. Oh, I was sure I heard something. Um. I want to get close enough to these to expose them on the map. Huh? Oh, I've been detected. I'm getting out of here. 
Karth Spire Camp. Okay. Now, oh, there's like some dude up here. Uh, Janaeus is determined to fight these guys. On uh, me, not so much. I just want to um, close the map a little bit. Oh, this guy is kicking my butt. <laughs> Oh, look at this. It's slowing me down. Where'd that icon go? I guess Janass is keeping him busy. Karth Spire itself discovered. Okay. So that's all I wanted to do was just discover some places. These jerks keep shooting at me and stuff. I really do not care to clear this place out right now. Um, I just wanted to... Uh, you know, expose the map location. That's all I wanted to do. Where are we on the map anyway? How far are we away? How far are we away from where we're going? Pretty far still. Still have quite a ways to go. Well, I really do not care for this business of being slowed. It's not my favorite thing. Um, I'm I'm not a fan at all. As a matter of fact, see that um. Hmm, not real sure what's slowing me down, to tell you the truth. Figured there'd be an effect on me or something. So we're just gonna be on our way here. Uh, not that I'm afraid of them or anything. Um, and not even because I'm lazy. But uh, because we will be back. Uh, either the game will send us back there. Or, well... We'll go back there later, after we've already finished the game, basically. But uh, I don't want to go in there and clear the place out, and then have the game send me there, and then I have to clear it all out again. So, we'll just be on our way. Uh, hopefully Janassa will catch up with us at some point. I mean, I'm pretty sure she's not dead, because only I can kill her. Hey dude, what's going on? How are you? Will you be my friend? Oh, is this? Oh, this is just an orc. Greetings, brother. You look weary. I have something to help you relax, if you're interested. What are you talking about? The finest Ooh. skooma. The sweetest moon sugar. At a fair price, of course. Um... This doesn't seem legal, dude. Ah, a snitch, eh? Oh, no. Can't have you running to any guards oh, now, no. can I? Oh. Mine. Oh, man. I don't want to fight you. I wonder how far he'll chase me. <laughs> I don't want to fight him. I mean, he's just standing on the side of the road trying to sell skooma. <laughs> I didn't have to be all snitchy. I wasn't going to buy any from him. I have no use for skooma. Okay, he, he, may, he may give up and turn around. I hope he does. For his own sake. It's, it's best for him. Yeah, go get him, goat. this place I'm not sure but he may have given up oh hi I've been hunting and fishing in these parts for years really it's not like my poaching is hurting anyone the Jarl can hardly eat every deer now can he well I guess that's one way to look at it there's enough for all of us if you aren't greedy all right let's keep walking Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if Janassa ran across that orc and killed him. I don't know. She'll catch up with us one of these days. Ooh. Hmm. I thought I had put, uh... There we go. Yeah, you better run. Oh, is she here? There she is. <laughs> She's so freaking awesome. <laughs> what do you got? Anything good? Uh, not really. Can't even get my arrow back from him. Don't be shy, Janessa. I see you over there. Come on. Hey, what's up? What are you guys up to? Keep an eye out for trouble. It's only a matter of time. 
can't wait to kill another of Alfred's boys. Auxiliary. Uh huh. I don't like that outfit on Janessa. I think it suits her well. Another camp up that way. I guess that symbol is just a forsworn camp symbol, maybe? Oh, what have we here? Kitty cat. Or was that a wolf? <laughs> like a cat to me. It's a wolf. Regardless, it's dead. <laughs> Why are you hanging so far behind, Janessa? <laughs> She's mad at me because I left her to fend for herself at that last camp. Something walking up there. We'll just let it be. We don't need to go chasing after everything. Oh, hey, what's up? Yeah. <laughs> this is so cool. I love that. Just see that arrow come from over my shoulder and just go zipping into that wolf and then have it do the electric thing. It's shock. It's so cool. I love it. Okay, what we're looking for, ooh, I guess is maybe up there, huh? Oh, yes, you could learn to like this place. Okay, so what we're looking for is up there. Uh, I'm not sure how we're going to get up there. I feel like we should have taken a different path, maybe, but let's see where this takes us. This is kind of fun. New place. That's not a way up. Another cave over there. Hey, guy, what's up? What are you two up to? Hi, dog. I've been hunting and fishing in these parts for years. Yeah, you guys seem to do that. It's not like my poaching is hurting anyone. The Yarrow can hardly eat every deer now, can he? Uh, I, I guess right, not. Then. Okay. Hmm. I feel like I'm getting further away instead of closer now if I go around this way. But I'm delighted that the weather's cleared up. Trying to find a way up there. I mean, I could probably make my way up there, but I'm not sure Janassa could, so. Oh no, what happened here? Oh, Khajiit. I feel like I've been here before. A Dance in Fire, Volume 7. According to the game, we've already read that one. Can I harvest the Khajiit's tail? It's beautiful. Make a scarf out of it. What the hell? Oh no. Where am I? I'll be damned, I'm over here. Huh. I didn't realize that I was coming all the way back this close to Whiterun. There's that thing again that we saw earlier. And uh, there goes my nice weather that I was enjoying. And uh, yes, we've seen this dead Khajiit before. We walked up here before. <laughs> she, she stepped right in a bear trap. There's a horse. Am I supposed to do something with this? I'm here. Let's go look at it. Last time I was here, that black dragon showed up. But I don't remember what the result was. Well. 
neat and all, but not really sure what to make of it. Something's going on over there. Some kind of battle going on. Look at that. But like I said, I don't need to go chasing every battle. Um, let's, uh, let's turn back and, uh, see if we can't make our way up to, uh, this, uh, whatever it is up here. This place. Can I go around this way, maybe? Let's try it. Let's try to go around, see what happens. Let's take a big tour. Oh, that's freaking awesome. Whoa. <laughs> that was pretty cool, man. Floating mammoths. Okay, let's start heading back this way now. You know, it's good to get out and stretch our legs after spending so much time in cooped up Markarth. This is good for us. Get out of here and breathe some fresh air. Here comes somebody. Hello, how are you? Like your hat. What's a milk drinker like you doing out here? Go home to your mother. Well, that's not a very nice thing to say. You shouldn't talk to me like that. Why? What are you going to do? Cry? Um... Well, you better back off. Because I don't like it when people talk to me like that. I don't have to take that from you. Ismir, you won't keep me alive. Okay, well now we're going to fight her. Let's see here. Just some random oh. Nord. Oh. Dragon showed up. She's hit me pretty hard, actually. I mean, if you want to play this game, let's dance. It's nothing. Of course, she's hitting me pretty hard, too. I should probably take a potion or so. Are you done yet? Uh, well. Oh, <laughs> chopped her head off. <laughs> you started it, lady. Uh, I'll take your ore. I'll take your glass mace, your gold, your ingot, your potions. You can keep the rest. So, you know, I, I could have handled that differently. I could have been like, I know, I don't want any trouble. But, you know, she was asking for it. You know, you just walk up to some stranger and... Start calling them names, you're going to end up dead. She had to learn that the hard way. Well, I keep thinking there's going to be a path that takes us over there. But I'm about ready to just start walking in that direction. Let's do it. Let's just walk. Path or no path. This looks like a really big place. We're going in here for a book. Probably going to have to clear the place out. see there. Somebody up there. Fort Sunguard. Well, I'll be damned. It's really weird because when we, when we were walking around down there below, I actually thought to myself, that reminds me of Fort Sunguard. I should have said something. Look at this. Magic horse. 
So we cleared this place out before. Uh, but it looks like uh, some peeps have decided to move back in. And I don't blame them because it's a pretty swell place. Not sure how or why we didn't pick up this book before. This book that we've come here to get. Is anybody home? Oh, look at this. Here's a book here. <laughs> Probably the most seen book in the game. It's always volume three. Silence will serve us well in this place. Let us take our foes by surprise. Yeah, I was being quiet till you started talking. Um, let's let's take Last Scabbard of Akrash. I mean, this is actually gonna we're actually gonna be stealing this book, right? Um, and I don't know if I've read this book before or not. I'm looking at my notes now to see if. Uh, Come on. Well. Um, last Scabbard of Akrash. Yeah, I have... I actually have this book already. I didn't need to come here to get it at all. Um, but I haven't read it. So... Oh! Hey guys, what's up? Oh, this is an Imperial camp now. God up. Hmm. Crap, man. I wish I hadn't walked in here. This is probably going to be stealing when I take this book. Those guys are sleeping, but uh, it's never stopped them from seeing me steal stuff before. Will do. Okay. Well, she got the book. Back These guys here. didn't seem to care. Does it show up as stolen but in her inventory? I'm curious. If that is what you wish. No. Take. We'll take that one too. Let's now, does go. it show up as stolen in my inventory? It does. <laughs> well, those guys were sleeping. Sorry, guys. Somebody's going to be really upset when they. I wonder why it's putting me up here. Uh, somebody's going to be really upset when they uh, find out that somebody took their book. They're not going to be able to finish it. I don't think I'm going to be able to go in this direction. Keep an eye out for trouble. It's only a matter of time. Look at that. That is pretty awesome. This, uh, you remember when I visited this place before, right? Kind of made me fall in love with the game. The view's so amazing up here. This is really neat that the Imperials are here now. Is it because I decided to side with the Imperials? Um, is it because I cleared it out? I mean, I believe there were four sworn here before. When I came here the first time. I don't know. But you don't want to fall down there. It hurt. So, we're supposed to bring this book back to um, Markarth. And I, I suppose we could, but in a way it seems kind of silly to uh, walk all the way back there just to bring a book back to somebody. I mean, I could bring that book back you know, the next time we're in the neighborhood. Let's bring up the map, take a look at the map here. Everything around here is all white. Places we've already been and probably already cleared out. This place sounds familiar to me. Um, let me look at my notes and see if it's in here. Nope, it's not. It's not in my notes, so this I don't know anything about that place. I don't know why it's on my on my map. Over here is Arking Thams. Now this is a place where we're supposed to get something. 
We're supposed to just investigate the ruins. We read about this place in a book uh, called The Ethereum Wars. And, um, seemed pretty interesting. So this place here, I'm going to guess is on our map because we're supposed to clear it out, maybe. Um, so let's just start heading in that direction. Let's just go. Go for a walk. See if we could find a path down from this mountaintop. It's a bit of a path here. <laughs> Poor thing, he's just standing there. It's like, I didn't do anything to you. I'm not real sure why I'm taking those pelts. They're really not worth carrying. I mean, if you think about their value to weight ratio. Yeah, it's pretty crappy. It's actually, I really shouldn't even be bothering with those. But I am. Now we need to get over there somehow. Look at that place. Magnificent. See if there's a way across the water here. Then maybe we'll follow what looks like a path up over there. See that right winding up the mountain that way? Maybe that's where we're going to go. I'm not sure. But, um... Hmm. I'm not seeing a way across the water right off. So we're probably going to get wet. That's okay, just a little bit wet. I guess there is a bridge way down there, but uh, I don't want to walk all the way down there. Come on, Janessa. You get your boots a little wet, it'll be okay. Uh, so here's a cave here. Gloomreach. We've been in there. Actually, that, uh, I think that's the first place I ever saw Falmer leave. But, uh, let's go for a little walk. See what's going on up here. Whoa, look at this. Spriggans versus Trolls. Who's your money on? Looks like the Spriggans are going to win. Whoa. That was weird. Turn into bees. Look at this. Oh, I'm dead. <laughs> Damn it. I just happened to look down right as right as I died. Doggone it. I was too mesmerized by the the beauty of the Spriggan. Alright, game, I'm not over encumbered. Quit it. Why are you acting like this? Man, I didn't you know what I actually didn't realize I was carrying this much stuff. Maybe I shouldn't go exploring, huh? Yeah, maybe I shouldn't. I, um, I did not know that. Well, that's kind of a bummer, man. That kind of, kind of puts a damper on, uh, going for a little trip over there, huh? Should probably go back to, uh, Markarth instead. But, uh, what fun is that? Not Markarth, um, might run. Janass is going to have to find a way around. I think I see her standing there. Like she can't get past the horse or these uh, barricades here. Whatever you call these things. Yeah, here she comes. Did I hear a dragon cry? I may have heard a dragon. I'm not sure. Well, let's go ahead and walk this way anyway. Hmm. 
Hey, remember me? So this time I'm not even going to bother to pick up the pelt. It makes all the difference. I can't believe I let that stupid Spriggan kill me. I was just enjoying the animation. That Spriggan raising its arm towards me. Shooting whatever spell it is at me. I was just uh, mesmerized. Really enjoying that. And uh, it was like something in the back of my mind said, huh, I wonder if this is uh, hurting you in some way. So I glanced down at my health bar and right then I saw it dwindle away before I could hit the inventory button to take a potion. But that's okay. See if they're still here this time. Wonder if they are. Where was the path I took last time? Oh, that's right. We walked over here by Gloom Reach. And I guess I went around this way. This is that piece of music that might be my favorite in the game. Oh, look at this. Poor guy. This poor elk. This is some slow moving arrows. Guess it's all clear now. Guess it's all clear now. Okay, so this time we came across some hunters instead of spriggans and trolls. Oh, a bear. Oh. <laughs> nice job, bear. <laughs> You faked me out, man. Uh, the bear. Again, there's no sense in... Um, I'll take the bear claws, though. But the pelt really isn't worth taking. Where'd you go, Janessa? She'll catch up. What's this over here? Just a cool little tree here. Don't know what the story is. is it, uh, copper and sapphire circlet. I'll take it. Maybe somewhere in the game world there's a map. Treasure map that points to that place. I don't know. But uh, we found the treasure before we found the map. There's a path over here. Let's take it. Uh oh. What's this now? Who are you? That's close enough. enough. That's close enough. So am I? Am I not friends with the uh, Forsworn? I guess I'm not. Look at this battle. We got dog versus uh, skeever. Dog wins. Hello, dog. How are you? Not doing so well, are you, dog? Skeever. The Skeever's almost got to you. Huh. I didn't think we'd go down, but uh, down we go. Hmm. Now I'm a little worried. Wait a minute. I thought I was going... Oh, dog on it. <laughs> I'm just... I forgot to set my marker again, and this whole time I've been walking back to Markarth when I've wanted to go to Valthium. Valthium? Valthium? I don't know. Totally uh, got turned around. Forgot to set a marker when I um, died. So now I'm thinking that maybe I need to be up there. I'm not actually sure how I'm going to get up there. I'm gonna go back by these four sworn, I guess. It's cool that they don't attack me right off. Janessa, no. Hmm. 
Hmm. Well, I need to figure out how to get up there, but uh, we're going to set up camp here by this uh, juniper tree. I'm going to end this episode, but not before I read a book. The book we're going to read is indeed The Last Scabbard of Akrash, which the game thinks I read. I don't have it marked as read. Um, so yeah, I'm kind of curious if this is going to sound familiar. The Last Scabbard of Akrash by Tabar Voonquid. For several warm summer days in the year Third Era 407, a young, pretty Dunmer woman in a veil regularly visited one of the master armorers in the city of Tear. The locals decided that she was young and pretty by her figure and her poise, though no one ever saw her face. She and the armorer would retire to the back of his shop, and he would close down his business and dismiss his apprentices for a few hours. Then at mid-afternoon she would leave, only to return at precisely the same time the next day. As gossip goes, it was fairly meager stuff, though what the old man was doing with such a well-dressed and attractively proportioned woman was the source of several crude jokes. After several weeks, the visits stopped and life returned to normal in the slums of Tear. It was not until a month or two after the visits had stopped that in one of the many taverns in the neighborhood, a young local tailor, having imbibed too much sauce, asked the armor, armorer, So, whatever happened to your lady friend? You break her heart? The armorer, well aware of the rumors, simply replied, She is a proper young lady of quality. There was nothing between her and the likes of me. What was she doing at your shop every day for? Asked the tavern wench, who had been dying to get the subject open. If you must know, said the armorer, I was teaching her the craft. You're putting us on, laughed the tailor. No, the young lady had a particular fascination with my particular kind of artistry, the armorer said with a hint of pride before getting lost in the reverie. I taught her how to mend swords specifically from all kinds of nicks and breaks, hairline fissures, cracked pommels, quillins, and grips. When she first started, she had no idea how to secure the grips to the tang of the blade. Well, of course, she was green to start off with. Why wouldn't she be? But she weren't afraid to get her hands dirty. I taught her how to patch the little inlaid silver and gold filigree you find on really fine blades, and how to polish it all to a mirror sheen so the sword looks like the gods just pulled it from their celestial anvil. The tavern winch and the tailor laughed out loud. No matter what he alleged, the armorer was speaking of the young lady's training as another man speaks of a long-lost love. More of the locals in the tavern would have listened to the armorer's pathetic tale, but more important gossip had taken precedence. There was another murdered slave trader found in the center of town, gutted from fore to aft. That made six of them total in barely a fortnight. Some called the killer the Liberator, but that sort of anti-slavery zeal was rare among the common folk. They preferred calling him the Lopper, as several of the earlier victims had been completely beheaded. Others had been simply perforated, sliced, or gutted, but the Lopper still kept his original sobriquet. I'm not sure if I pronounced that right. While well, the enthusiastic hooligans made bets about the condition of the next slave trader's corpse, Several dozen of the surviving members of that trade were meeting at the manor house of Sergio Drez Minigar. Minigar was a minor houseman of House Drez, but a major member of the slave trading fraternity. Perhaps his best years were behind him, but his associates still counted on him for wisdom. We need to take what we know of this lopper and search accordingly, said Minigar, seated in front of his opulent hearth, or hearth. We know he has an unreasonable hatred of slavery and slave traders. We know he is skilled with a blade. We know he has the stealth and finesse to execute our most well-secured brethren in their most secure abodes. It sounds to me to be an adventurer or an outlander. Surely no citizen of Morrowind would strike at us like this. The slave traders nodded in agreement. An outlander seemed most likely for their troubles. It was always true. Were I fifty years younger, 
I would take down my blade Akrash from my hearth. Minagar made an expansive gesture to the shimmering weapon. And join you in seeking out this terror. Search him out where adventurers meet, taverns and guild halls. Then show him a little lopping of my own. The slave traders laughed politely. You wouldn't let us borrow your blade for the execution, I suppose, would you, Sergio? Asked Soren Yelis, a young toadying slaver. Enthusiastically. It would be an excellent use for Akrash, sighed Minagar, but I vowed to retire her when I retired. Minagar called for his daughter Polaya to bring the slavers more flynn, but they waved the girl away. It was to be a night for hunting the lopper, not drinking away their troubles. Minigar heartily approved of their devotion, particular as expensive as the liquor was getting to be. When the last of the slavers had left, the old man kissed his daughter on the head, took one last admiring look at Akrash, and toddled off to his bed. No sooner had he done so than Pelaya had the blade off the mantle and was flying it flying with it across the field behind the manor house. She knew Kazag had been waiting for her for hours in the stables. He sprung out at her from the shadows, and wrapping his strong furry arms around her, kissed her long and sweet. Holding him as long as she dared to, she finally broke away and handed him the blade. He tested its edge. The finest Kajiti swordsman couldn't hone an edge this keen, he said, looking at his beloved with pride. And I know I nicked it up good last night. That you did, said Polaya. You must have cut through an iron cuirass. The slavers are taking precautions now, he replied. What did they say during their meeting? They think it's an outlander adventurer, she laughed. It didn't occur to any of them that a Kajiti slave would possess the skill to commit all these loppings. And your father doesn't suspect that it's his dear Akrash that is striking into the heart of oppression? Why would he, when every day he finds it fresh as the day before? Now I must go before anyone notices I'm gone. My nurse sometimes comes in to ask me some detail about the wedding, as if I had any choice in the matter at all. I promise you, said Kazak very seriously, you will not be forced into any marriage to cement your family's slave-dealing dynasty. The last scabbard Akrash will be sheathed into will be your father's heart. And when you are an orphan, you can free the slaves, move to a more enlightened province, and marry who you like. I wonder who that will be, Polaya teased, and raced out of the stables. Just before dawn, Polaya awoke and crept out to the garden, where she found Akrash hidden in the bitter green vines. The edge was still relatively keen, but there were scratches vertically across the blade's surface. Another beheading, she thought, as she took pumice stone and patiently rubbed out the marks, finally polishing it with a solution of salt and vinegar. It was up on the mantle in pristine condition when her father came into the sitting room for his breakfast. When the news came that Camilleth Torum, Polias' husband-to-be, had been found outside of a canton, his head on a spike some feet away, she did, not, she did not have to pretend to grieve. Her father knew she did not want to marry him. It is a shame, he said, the lad was a good slaver, but there are plenty of other young men who would appreciate an alliance with our family. What about young Soren Jealous? Two days, two days nights later, Soren Jealous was visited by the lopper. The struggle did not take long, but Soren had armed himself with one small defense. A needle dipped in the ichor of poison plant, hidden up his sleeve. After the mortal blow, he collapsed forward and struck Kazak in the calf with the pin. By the time he made it back to the Minigar manor house, he was dying. Vision blurring, he climbed up to the eaves of the house to Pelaya's window and rapped. Pelaya did not answer immediately as she was in a deep, wonderful sleep, dreaming about her future with her Kajiti lover. He rapped louder, which woke up not only Pelaya, but also her father in the next room. Kazag, she cried, opening up the window. The next person in the bedroom was Minigar himself. As he saw it, this slave, this property, was about to lop off the head of his daughter, his property, with his sword, his property. Suddenly, with the energy of a young man, Minigar rushed at the dying Khajiit, knocking the sword out of his hand. Before Pelaya could stop him, 
her father had thrust the blade into her lover's heart. The excitement over the old man dropped the sword and turned to the door to call the guard. As an afterthought, it occurred to him to make certain that his daughter hadn't been injured and might require a healer. Minigar turned to her. For a moment, he felt simply disoriented, feeling the force of the blow, but not the blade itself. Then he saw the blood and then felt the pain. Before he fully realized that his daughter had stabbed him with Akrash, he was dead. The blade at last found its scabbard. A week later, after the official investigations, the slave was buried in an unmarked grave in the manor field, and Sergio Drez Minigar found his resting place in a modest corner of the family's opulent mausoleum. A larger crowd of curious onlookers came to view the funeral of the noble slaver whose secret life was as the savage lopper of his competitors. The audience was respectfully quiet, though there was not a person there not imagining the final moments of the man's life. Attacking his own daughter in his madness, luckily defended by the loyal, hapless slave, before turning the blade on himself. Among the viewers was an old armorer who saw for one last time the veiled young lady before she disappeared forever from Terre. That was a good story. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you enjoyed this episode too. If you did, why don't you let me know? You can leave me a like or a comment. Thank you so much for watching. I sure hope you join me again in the next episode.